Hello and in this tutorial we will show you how to add your email and calendar from Hostinger to your Gmail account. Please use your laptop or desktop for these steps. Do not use your phone. First go to Hostinger.com and log in using either your email and password or your social media logging options on the top. Once logged in Go right to the Emails tab on the very top, fourth tab where you will find your available email accounts. In this example, we will use the rooftopfl.com email account, but if you don't see an option, you can create a new plan on the upper right hand corner. Click Manage to continue. Depending on your plan, you might see a different number of email accounts available. Notice at the bottom, we have one email account already created. Let's create another email account to show you how it's done from the very beginning. Let's call this account help at rooftopfl.com and enter a new password. Notice the password rules and the eye icon if you need to see it. Click create when ready. There is a new feature on the upper right hand corner where you can turn on your hosting service expiration reminders via WhatsApp or text. You can enable it now by entering your number. We will skip this step for now and press later. In the Set up your email account screen, you can see a new set of options for Apple Mail, Outlook, Thunderbird, and Gmail Mobile. Let's click Gmail Mobile. This time, I am opening my snipping tool and will take a screenshot or a picture of the manual configuration settings at the bottom. This step will save you time and effort. If you want to learn how to use the snipping tool in Windows, leave a comment below for a complete tutorial. You can create another account to add another email, but we will check complete to get started. We are back in the list of accounts. Before we continue, let's click on the three dots on the far right for more options like change password, settings, create folders, create alias, create automatic reply, create catch all, and delete. The settings options has very useful features worth mentioning here. You can disable the account if the employee is no longer active, or you can suspend the access, receiving or sending. We click cancel to continue. Let's click on webmail and enter the password we just created. Log in. You can click on the eye icon and you have the option of forgot password. We now see the host in your webmail inbox. Stay logged in and leave this tab open while we work with Gmail. This simple step will speed up the process. In a separate tab in your browser, in this case we're using Google Chrome, log in to your Gmail account. Now let's go to Gmail and start the configuration under the settings tab or the gear icon on the upper right hand corner. Click see all settings right below. Once you click see all settings, the main screen appears. Click accounts and import, which is the fourth tab from the top. Towards the middle of the page, under select send mail as, click on add another email address. This is where you can change the send to name and add our host in your email address. That is info at rooftopfl.com. Check the treat as alias box if you want a copy of all emails sent to your host in your account to Gmail. When you reply or send a message, you can then choose which address to send from. You can specify an external and totally different email address than your Hostinger and Gmail account with this option. You can learn more and see the examples in this link. We will not use this feature, so we're going to click Next. This is a time where we need to get the screenshot we took earlier, and we can copy exactly the information from the SMTP settings. The username is the Hostinger email address, and the password is the Hostinger email password. Do not confuse it with your Gmail password. Remember, this part is all about Hostinger. Leave the SSL connection and press Add Account. If the information was entered correctly, 
you should see this screen where you need a verification code. Let's leave this tab open. We will now go to hosting your webmail, which we left open in another tab. Notice that in our hosting your webmail, we got the Gmail verification code. Let's copy by selecting it, press Ctrl C or right click and copy. Since we left the Gmail tab open previously, let's go back to our Gmail account and paste this information. If the verify box disappears like we just saw here, just click the verify link on the far right so you can enter the code. Click verify. This is up to you to decide. At the bottom, you have the option to reply from the same address the message was sent to or always reply from the default Gmail address. But with the second option, you can change the address to Hostinger when you reply. If you want to save that extra step, choose the first option. But in this demo, we will leave it with the option to switch manually that email account. You can learn more in the link next to it. Also, just wanted to point out to you that if you ever need to delete this configuration or start all over, there's a delete button. We will not delete it as it all looks good. Since we want to receive and check mail from our hosting your webmail account, we will select add a mail account. Let's type in this box the hosting your webmail address. Click next. We are selecting the second option, import emails from my other account, pop three in parentheses, click next. We are looking at our screenshot one more time for the pop three configuration. Let's type again the complete Hostinger email address, the Hostinger password, and change the pop server and port number. Another decision to make is if you want to leave the copy of the message in your host in your webmail. Check the always use a secure connection box and you can label the incoming messages with the host in your webmail address or create a new label if you want to. Do not check the archive incoming messages or they will not be visible in your inbox. Click add account to finish. If the setup is correct, you will now see in your settings under check mail from other accounts, the host in your webmail, the address with the checking mail status activated. Now let's talk about the calendar. So far we have been working with the email configuration, but what if we want our calendar invites and events to come from the host in your email address? This was a great question by one of our viewers. So we decided to make a tutorial about it. The first step is to create a new Google Calendar account for the host in your email by going to https colon forward slash forward slash accounts dot google dot com forward slash new account. If possible, use your browser in private mode so the browser does not get confused with your already linked Gmail accounts. In this area, enter the name you want to be displayed in your calendar account and invites. Enter any name of your choice. Click Next. Now enter the basic information that you see on the screen. And once you're done with this step, we're going to click Next. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Make sure that in this area, you use your hosting your existing email address, which is info at rooftopfl.com. Do not create a new Gmail account. Let's verify now. Go to your Hostinger webmail address and enter the verification code that Gmail sent you. Go back to your previous Gmail tab and enter the code. Let's create a strong password to continue with our next step. After you confirm your number, review your account and continue. Review the Gmail account terms and click I agree when finished. The new welcome Gmail screen appears. 
we are about to add calendar access from info at rooftopfl.com to our Gmail account, the one we configure at the beginning. In the Rooftop FL account, go to the upper right hand corner and select calendar. Check the available calendars on the lower left hand corner of the screen. Check the three dots on the Rooftop FL calendar and select settings and sharing. On the top, you can change the name to be displayed and add a description. You can also set the time zone, export the calendar, get a shareable link, but we will go to share with a specific people or groups. I scroll down and add people and groups. Now this is where you want to make sure to add the Gmail address we configured earlier and under the permission select make changes and manage sharing. It's the very last option and click send. You can add more people on share by clicking on the X and modify the access. We need to go back to our Gmail account and accept this invitation by adding this calendar in our Gmail account. When we press add this calendar, the rooftopfl.com calendar appears in our left menu right below birthdays in this example. To check that you have full access to the Rooftop FL calendar, check the three dots and see that you have settings and sharing. Let's do a final test event to make sure that it works. Press back to go to the main screen. Create an event on the upper left hand corner. We'll call it test event. I scroll down and change the organizer as rooftopfl.com. We are adding a guest to see how it looks externally. We are reviewing the information and we want to make sure that the rooftopfl.com is the organizer. We even change in the color. Now we're going to click save and then send. The inbox shows the invitation like in the picture and notice that we have as the organizer info at rooffl.com. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let us know in the comments below what other features from Hostinger would you like to see. Thank you.